everyone. My name is Gerd Sechmeister, as Wojtek kindly introduced me al already. I'm research and development, man development manager at the Semantic Web Company. And um, I, I think the discussion we just had was very interesting. I tried to, well, contribute a little bit by giving you a talk about uh, our main product, as you see, the pool party. Um, I was asked yesterday uh, because there might be a little bit of confusion. This company is called Semantic Web Company, and our main product is the pool party, which I will introdu introduce to you now. Uh, but I don't want to make a, just a product presentation, so at the end I hope we have time for... Uh, I, I will demonstrate something, some new features we introduced, and I hope we have also time for discussion. Okay, uh, a few words about the company itself. Uh, we were founded in 1998 uh, as an IT company which provided several services in terms of network administration, web page design, uh, and so on. But uh, by the time and uh, we, we developed actually uh, more towards uh, uh, the semantic web uh, world, and we started a semantic web school, which was more or less like a competence center in Vienna uh, regarding the semantic uh, web. In this time, it was quite new and young, so we, uh, I think my, my uh, bosses and, uh, and my former colleagues uh, required a lot of time to convince people, uh, organizations, enterprises uh, about the uh, advantages and the benefits of semantic web applications. Uh, in 2008, uh, 2007, we started the development of the pool, pa pool party uh, data management platform and we went onto the market in 2009. Important for me to say is we are privately held, so we are 20 people uh, from various um, fields, with various, from various fields and with uh, several backgrounds, and we call ourselves spe specialists because I think from, uh, for our company it's important to combine a lot of expertise from different fields like uh, computer linguistics, data engineering, um, of course uh, the, the, the typical development stuff like working on, 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 on Sparkle queries and, and coding and uh, also stuff like uh, open data lobbying, for example. It's, I think it's, for, it's very important to, uh, to kind of uh, make some lobby, lobbying for, for open data in terms of uh, uh, for governments, for authorities to publish their data, to open it and ideally publish it as linked open data, uh, and so on. Uh, yeah, I think that's all about us, a few customers uh, which are running projects with us. Um, important to say here is, you might know a few of them, uh, that they have actually all, um, well, the, the, the common, uh, the things they, they um, which they have in common is actually, all of them have very sophisticated uh, desires and imaginations about their information uh, and data management, and they have to serve their well, I would call it stakeholders, and with, with stakeholders I'm, I mean employees, partners, uh, clients, which access on systems and on, uh, which want to retrieve information and data hosted by the, by, uh, the organizations. Um, as I'm research and development manager, of course I'd like to mention a few projects we, uh, we are running currently. Maybe uh, just a few words, of course, I'm representing a company, but doing research and, co and contributing in research projects from FP7 uh, down to very local levels in, in Austria and Vienna is important for us because uh, we really focus on the, on the knowledge transfer. So we provide expertise for research projects, which partners uh, can benefit from. And in return, we also, of course, expect um, new uh, experiences and uh, new knowledge which will feed back into the product development. Uh, I think LOD2, I don't have to explain to you, you might know it. Semagro is a very interesting uh, project which will start in uh, November this year uh, with the FAO. It's about uh, data incentive techniques to boost the real-time performance of global agricultural data infrastructure. 
Uh, they're planning to set up a big triple store regarding agricultural data together with some other partners. And Sonar is an example for a small but very interesting project we are on a local level. So it's funded by a uh, Viennese-based Vienna -based funding agency. Uh, what we are trying to do is, or what we are exploring is to uh, the semantic uh, bundling of data and information from several sources, web blogs, social media news, and to provide it to the people in organization, in companies, um, like kind of they subscribe to these and receive the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the information at the time they, they require it and most uh, ac accurate and actual, of course, uh, based on pool party tesori. Sorry. Okay, but let's uh, get into the pool party. Uh, I was, well, m I don't know what, what association you have with pool party. I, I'm, I'm, it might be obvious. Uh, I mean, you see it actually in, 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 at the logo. Uh, pool party is something you, which you might think of laying back beside the pool, having a cocktail in your hand. Uh, and I th for me, it's a, it's, a, it's a nice association because um, what we have is actually a, a lightweight ontology in place where you can easily um, set up your thesaurus uh, as a knowledge model. And um, well, how easy it's, it's, it is, I will, I will, show, uh, I will show later. Uh, but the thing is actually to, it, it, should, it should not be kind of a, of, uh, for me, it's not a, like, like a work. In terms of oh god, I have to now. Uh, I have to retrieve data. I have to model it. I have to uh, spend a lot of times in in in, fr in front of my uh, laptop or computer. It's a quite easy approach to integrate uh, to import uh, information and data into in, into a thesaurus manager and to model it as uh, the way you you like it. So you sit on the pool and you have the laptop beside you and do it uh, beside. Okay. The first two model modules are, is, are the, the extractor on the left-hand side. This is n uh, nothing else like, like text, mining and, uh, and extra, uh, uh, text mining and extraction module. You uh, send content to the, to the extractor. It, uh, based on the thesaurus you, you have at hand, it extracts the com concepts, uh, 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 suggests new candidates to be, uh, uh, to be added to the thesaurus as, as new concepts or as new labels to existing concepts. And I think it's quite small, but, well, I can show you later on, but here actually the green ones are the concepts which are in the thesaurus. So they are found and, uh, well, the other color is not really, uh, the, the other ones actually are, are the candidates you might uh, add to your thesaurus. Of course, you need a thesaurus at hand where uh, to start your extraction, this is the working bench for the thesaurus manager. So you have here the hierarchic, hierarchical um, uh, uh, view on, on, on the model, and here you have the concept view. The other po uh, components are semantic uh, uh, pool party search, nothing else than a semantic uh, search application on top of your content. Um, and the fourth one is actually more business oriented. We, we, we have uh, power tagging at hand, which is mainly focused on the enterprise wiki confluence, uh, which we have, which we are also distributing in um, as as as, uh, as partner from Atlassian, the company who who, who develops uh, confluence. And the, the approach is actually while you are writing content uh, in, in your wiki and you save it, it's automatically tagged against the thesaurus which lays behind and you don't have to add any uh, tags manually. It adds the text, the, the, the text um, uh, from the text and also its synonyms, its translations, in its other labels based on the thesauri which, uh, which, uh, which uh, uh, is predefined in the background. This is how it looks like altogether, the platform. We have the, the thesaurus manager here. It publishes and enriches, so there is a bidirectional uh, exchange uh, with data from the LOD cloud. You have here the extractor to generate a mapper, the search on top, and the power tagging. Important to say, power tagging is very business oriented. <laughs> 
uh, provides on APIs with uh, WordPress, SharePoint, and Atlassian Confluence. This is a more technical view. So you have actually the web application. It's a web-based uh, application, so you can access, uh, access all the modules via the web. You have uh, the course as a Java library. You have Apache Solar in the background and an open RDF repository. And as I said already, the communication uh, interfaces with SharePoint and Confluence. This is a <coughs> nicer view, actually, of, of the Thesaurus Manager. You have here, again, the hi hierarchical overview. You have here the concept view. So we, pro we pre represent each concept in SCOS. So you have here the broader concepts, the narrower ones, the related ones, how it's embedded in the, in the Thesaurus. And um, I guess it's obvious uh, each concept uh, can be embedded in, in, in many concept schemes. So we provide, of course, poly hierarchies. hierarchies. Each concept has an URI. I um, guess these technical details are familiar, familiar to all of you. Also, a nice, greater view on the text mining module. Here you actually see the, the red ones are the extracted uh, concepts from the thesaurus. In the green ones, I guess it's green. Yeah, it's green. Are the ones who are uh, which the, the user actually decided already to add to the thesaurus. So I have to click on it, and then it turns green. And the others, which are not uh, highlighted uh, by, uh, by a color, will be left aside, are not really important for a thesaurus. That is how, how you can actually enrich and expand your thesaurus. Um, just an overview about the text mining features. Important to say is actually that we have uh, the, the three groups. I won't go too much into details here. We have rule-based text mining, uh, text mining on top of the knowledge models based on the thesaurus and linked data, and also text mining by means of statistic and simple lists. These are the, for example, TF-IDF, term frequency, and so on. We can provide reference corpora and do some research on, on the thesauri. Classification of content, uh, I think my, I might show this to you later in, in, in the demo. However, here you actually have, uh, well, I always want to point there. <laughs> here you have actually provided concepts with scores. You have uh, the transition to broader concepts, so actually the, the, uh, uh, where, where the concepts are embedded, extract the terms and enrichments. Uh, our semantic search provides uh, several features, like no, uh, obviously uh, faceted uh, search, autocomplete, thesaurus-based search is of course obvious, similarity search, query expansion. Um, an example application we provided um, about the search, actually. Uh, we, for, for one of our customers, for Roche, uh, we made a, um, uh, an application where we actually provided a, a, a content base from 10,000 PubMed abstracts and 5,000 news from Bionity. We used the medical subject headings thesaurus for building the facets and for indexing the documents. And the demo is actually available. Uh, I, I think I will just so, show the slides. It saves a little bit of time. Uh, the demo is available here if you're interested. I guess uh, we provide the slides afterwards as well. So you have actually advanced autocomplete uh, function here. So when I enter, for example, blood as a search term, I see where blood is actually, where, where blood is uh, included in, uh, embedded in the thesaurus, and I can actually uh, choose one, one of, one of the, these concepts. Interesting is also that we, of course, we benefit from the thesaurus by, for ex by highlighting, um, by, well, we call it smart, smart suggest. So when you actually enter glucose, uh, it, it automatically uh, uh, recognizes that the, the, uh, that glucose is uh, related with diabetes mellitus and hyperglycemia, 
uh, visible indic indicated by this bulb turned on in the in the suggested uh, results. You have uh, a content recommender, so you have a more like this button where you can actually get um, more con more similar contents based on, on on the search results. Here you actually see on the on the left hand side the cement uh, the the, uh, the categories the facets. You can refine it. Uh, pool bar power tagging. I said this already. I think, uh, yeah, I just skipped this slide. And what's really interesting is how actually to get to get started um, with a thesaurus. Usually, our, our our model is actually that we 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 ha we with the with the pool party we provide a tool which our customers can use to uh, set up to uh, to create their own. Thesaurus to maintain it, to enrich it with data from linked open data cloud. And this COSI, uh, this, I don't know if some of you, if you can see the face, if it's familiar to you. Uh, however, COSI is our uh, tool which can uh, create uh, seed thesaurus based on DBpedia categories. So you actually add um, keywords. I will go down. To create this, I will show it to you later live. But just to, to tell you what what's it about, you actually enter a language. You can decide between uh, French, German, and also uh, and English content. You give a, uh, your project a title. You add uh, the categories you're interested in. If there are categories you're not interested in, you can of course dump them. And then you define the the extraction dev. So we have five levels. Recommended is three levels, the first and second and third uh, um, layer of, of, uh, of the Wikipedia articles. And uh, what you actually like to, uh, to add your, to your concept, so alternative labels, definitions, re relations. If you add relations, uh, you have to consider that each link in a Wikipedia article is uh, defined as a relation. So it might be quite uh, big, uh, it might uh, uh, expand. Uh, your thesaurus in, uh, and also would create a lot of noise because not, not each link is really uh, uh, dependent on uh, or interesting for the domain you actually expect. Um, yeah, and then you can actually create uh, decide on the uh, on the on the uh, on the custom based URI and uh, type the link of of data you are the. the uh, how you want to integrate it in your thesaurus, usually it's SCOS exact match. Okay, I guess I will show it to you right now because I don't want to talk too much about the how we are in time. Okay, well, I, maybe th this, this will be the only demo I, sh I show, uh, but just to to show you that it works and not. So. So this would be the interface. Um, let's say I want to create a uh, basic tutorial about knowledge management. And, and I choose the categories knowledge management. So it's added on the left, on the right hand side. Oh, strange view actually. And what else can we do as we are on the management and engineering conference? I would also add this. Oh, category. Nah. Engineering, okay. And well, 
as I said, you can actually include it. Alternative labels, definitions include relations. I won't do it too big, just to show you how it works. Uh, you see it here, actually, I already I tested it before in order to, to, to tell it how it works, uh, to test that it works. I guess I don't have to wait until it's... Uh, where did I put it, actually? Pilot 4. So now I actually downloaded the categories from, from the Wikipedia, and now I can immediately import it into uh, as a new project. So this is the, the interface from the pool party. You can create a new project. I will make it quite quick. So we have an English thesaurus. And as w when I actually decide the project to be public, then you can uh, query all the concepts which are provided there uh, via Sparkle queries. Oh, OK. It already exists. I didn't. OK. <laughs> because I, I tried it before. So what we have here is actually uh, the thesaurus as I integrated in integrated it out of the box and you can search for example for uh, for the labels for the concepts which are uh, which, which uh, DBP actually provides me and from this point onwards I, I can uh, I can maintain I can model the thesaurus I can uh, extract well I, I won't I think time wise we I I won't. I will. I will stop here. But the main thing is actually that I c that I can uh, uh, benefit from the linked open data cloud by autom by uh, matching all the concepts with other sources. Uh, not only DBpedia, you can also access Yago, uh, Geo names, whatever you you need to 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 add to your thesaurus, and um, and then uh, maintain it like that. So I'm. Going back to this. Okay, where have we been? Yeah, I think the other slides uh, are not that interesting. I won't. Well, maybe shortly about the linked open data manager, which is a new uh, tool and with which we actually provide as open source um, in, in, the, in the weeks to come. Uh, I won't show it to you now, but actually the main thing is actually you can compose your RDF data processes and workflows using modular re reusable concepts. So it, it's a, actually, uh, let's say, a scheduler for extraction, transforming, and uh, loading uh, RDF data into uh, uh, Thesaurus. So you, uh, you have actually here, you can create a new project, uh, add some description what it, what it will do. Here, for example, World Bank uh, data to PDF, convert selected indicators. Here you create the schedule when it will be ex executed uh, as cron expression and then you have actually an overview about all the uh, all the extractors. Okay, yeah, can be developed as uh, plugins. Will be pl published in the weeks to come. And well, <coughs> this was actually an, an example I provided because we said we we told about um, how enterprises, if they are really ready to to publish or if they just publisher also benefit from the linked open data cloud. Uh, Walter Skluver, a publisher in Germany, uh, provided um, uh, Tesori regarding uh, work, uh, what is it, work, work legal, uh, Arbeitsrecht. Um, well, uh, 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 legal issues in, uh, uh, in, in, in terms of work, work rights, I think. Um, uh, the a whole to Soros as uh, linked open data, so uh, their customers can use it. 
and provide it in their own and in, in the in their own uh, infrastructures. And this is just for Walters Kluwer. It's just the beginning of the of their linked open data strategy. They really want to integrate it in their business models. Okay, and I stop here. Um, well, the customers, uh, what, what's, Walters Club is one of our customers, which we, 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 they are, they were, they are partners in the LOD project, LOD2 project, and now they are uh, running a long-term partnership with, with, with them, but it's not yet clear uh, where, where it goes. The, the best example would be Roche. Uh, they are actually, they integrated uh, the pool party as, par as part of their uh, global IT infrastructure. So all the data resources, all the, I, I cannot actually show it to you because it, this is an internal application, but all the data resources uh, and information uh, uh, they provide globally. So uh, uh, and le starting from the overview on, on, on employees, on, uh, uh, on departments, ec uh, an overview on, the, on all the, the pharmaceutical databases they have, they provide it as concepts in the pool party and uh, host it centrally in, in, uh, and just spread it, uh, spread it out uh, to, the, to, the thing, to the several um, country organizations they have. And they are all accessing on, on, uh, on, 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 onto the, uh, on, the, on the thesaurus. And the recent development was actually that we provide a, uh, that we provide a, an, 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 an interface based on the thesaurus for mobile uh, de devices because the request was actually while they are sitting in meetings and uh, having subject discussions about, uh, well, pharma topics, they, 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 are, they want to be sure what, uh, if, if they are talking about substances in which uh, brands, in, 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 in which medicals they, uh, these are used, which brands they have, which synonyms. So what we actually um, contributing here is really to a, to a global information data management uh, strategy of a, of a, of a pharma, pharma company, but not only on the, on the subject, but also on the, on the, on, on the subject of, of pharma, pharmacology, but also on, um, on their general uh, enterprise infrastructure or, and their organizational needs. So the uh, overview on, on their departments employees and so on, and the general company structure. Okay. Thanks. Thank you.